All right, so today we're going to be talking about something called the parallel axis theorem. What this is primarily saying is we want to be able to find what the inertia of an object is if it's not directly in the middle. So many times what's given to you is the inertia of an object if it's uh, rotating around its center of axis. However, if it's rotating at a different spot, let's say at the edge, we want to be able to figure out, okay, what's the inertia now at this spot? It's the same mass, same object, but now it's rotating around a different axis point. So for the parallel axis, it says calculate the inertia of a south sphere rotating along the outer rim of its body. So we're looking at something like this. How we want to do this is we know the parallel axis theorem is equal to the I, the inertia at the center of mass, plus MD squared. Okay, so this is the at the center of the mass. Uh, M is just the mass of the object, and D is how far the object is from the center of mass. Okay? All right, so let's figure this out. So for the parallel axis theorem, let, let's try to do this problem. So we have IP is equal to the parallel axis, equal the inertia at the a uh, different point is equal to ICM plus MD squared. So for this, we know that the inertia at the center is 2 fifths MR squared. So we can say 2 fifths MR squared plus M. And then the distance from here to here, as we know, is R. So we can put this as R squared. Okay. Now these R's are the same. They're both the same. So now what we could do is we could add this up. And now this is going to be equal to 7 fifths mr squared. Okay, this is the inertia at this point. <clears throat> what we're going to notice is that it's harder to uh, have this solid sphere rotate at the end compared to at its center of mass. All right, let's try another example with this. So calculate the inertia of a rod. So rotate it along the end of the rod. So we know at the center, the inertia is 1 12th ml squared. But now we want to know what is the inertia if it's at all the way at the end if it's rotating like this, like a door almost. Okay, so again, the inertia at a different point is equal to the inertia center of mass plus md squared. All right, so ICM, this is going to be equal to 1 12th ml squared plus m. And now, okay, we have to figure, so this is the center of mass here. We're moving it this much distance, which is going to be 1 half l. So now this is going to change to be 1 half L squared. So this simplifies to be 1 12th ML squared plus 1 fourth ML squared. Okay, which does, what is this? Turns into 3 12 so this is going to be equal to 4 12 ML squared, which is equal to 1 third ML squared. And if you memorized that, you would have already known that answer, but it just shows how to do it mathematically. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to get it at a point one fourth its length of the rod. So now we don't want it at the end, we want it rotating one fourth right here. Okay, uh, we also know for this it's going to be a lot harder for it to work, rotate. This is one third ml squared, while this is one twelfth ml squared. So we're going to see that it's harder to rotate. Uh, it's always going to be easier at the center. So whenever it's not in the center of mass, it's going to be harder to rotate. Okay, so let's do one fourth ml squared. So IP equal to ICM plus MD squared, okay, part B. So this can be equal to, well, again, 1 12th ML squared. That's its um, inertia at the center of mass, plus M. And now this isn't going to be 1 half. This is going to be 1 fourth L, okay? Because now it's going to be rotate along its length uh, of the rod, 1 fourth the length, okay? So this is going to be equal to 1 fourth L squared. So now let's simplify 1 12th ml squared plus 1 16th ml squared. And um, let's see what this gives us. Oh, what is, oh, it's going to be a bit, I think, I guess it's like 48. So it's going to be 48. So it's going to be 4 times over 48 ml squared plus 32, 48. So 3, 48 ml squared. So it's equal to 748 ml squared. Ah, I believe I did that right. 32, 48, 4, okay. 
And that's how that's how you're gonna do these problems. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.